Hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK at www.xcase.co.uk. I thought I'd do a further video on our Xcase RM424 Pro. I think it's probably a good idea to do a few videos just to show different configurations. There's also been a couple of uh, changes to the chassis since version 1, this is now version 2, so I'll go over those as well. So basically with the RM424 Pro, you've got these 24 hot swap caddies. Each of the caddies will take 3.5 inch drives, as shown here, or 2.5 inch drives. Can be SATA, SAS, SSD, etc. On the front here we've got the power LED and a LAN light flickering away and a hard drive activity. That's for the internal uh, hard drive. So all of these drives here, when being used, will flicker away. And the blue lights will flicker. And depending on your setup, if you've got a RAID card, you'll also have an amber light above there for SGPIO um, support. So if you wanted to locate a drive, and as long as your RAID card supports it, um, through your RAID card you'd say, show me drive number 1, and this light would start flickering away. If you get a faulty drive, the SGPO through the RAID card will um, give a series of flickers on the drive that's got uh, an impending problem. So that's really handy if uh, you've got it in a data centre and you've got to replace a drive somebody can see instantly which one it is. So in this particular configuration, it's a single socket uh, processor, an X9 SCI, no, excuse me, it's an X9 SCM uh, motherboard, a Xeon processor, 32 gig of RAM, and this particular customer wants three 8 port HBA cards and a 10 gig network card. Here I use these um, little mini hot swap um, caddies at the rear. Basically you just pop here and your two and a half inch drive pops out and I just connect that to a 6 gigabit connection on the motherboard. A few customers have a couple of these to set up a little operating system RAID. The 424 Pro chassis will take a single 2U power supply, 2U redundant, a triple uh, redundant power supply or even a standard ATX power supply. And we have various brackets for each of these. changes from the last chassis. We've slightly lowered the fans. You've got these three 120mm hot swap fans. These are temperature controlled, connected to a PCB at the bottom of the um, plastic here. And a wire comes from that to your motherboard. And so if your um, system heats up, I'll just demonstrate by stopping the fan. There you go, and slowly but surely the fans will slow back down again because the process is getting cooler. You've got these six mini SAS connections on the back here. These are 6GB and as I said they support SGPIO. 
the back planes are powered by six Molexes. Now we've slightly moved the fans back as well as lowering them which gives more space here and we've added this part across the top so all the air is expelled from the uh, area where heat builds up into the rear of the chassis. Chassis itself 650mm deep. We do a set of heavy duty rails for it. And it's of a very strong and well built construction. Obviously this is just one configuration that we're doing for uh, a pretty regular customer on these. But we do it with dual processor boards, single RAID controllers, uh, we do a version now which has got a um, SAS expander built into the back plane so you could just run it off a four port RAID card or HPA card. Anyway we'll pretty much build up a system to your configuration. So there we go just to have a little look at another system in our X-Case RM424 Pro buy it as a system or as a chassis alone from us. Thanks for listening.